Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Today I'm going to answer a, um, a question posed by our viewer, uh, Michael. Michael says he needs to know how the bail spring is set on this uh, Zebco Genesis. So uh, we're going to do that. We're going to show you how uh, this it works on this reel and probably about half of the reels that are on the market. There's two basic types of bail spring sets. One of them is just a um, kind of a V-shaped uh, spring clip and the other one uh, usually has a carrier and a uh, spring that looks like a um, uh, pen retra a retractable pen kind of a clip. Well, I'm not sure what's inside here. We're going to find out. We're going to show Michael how to reset it on his fishing reel. Now, if you're interested in the the overall how to service the uh, Zebco Genesis reel, uh, I did do a full video on that. However, when I do a normal service of a reel, it does not require that a bale uh, be taken apart. Uh, that would only be something that you would want to do if and when uh, the bale stopped functioning, or uh, maybe you dropped it in the sand and sand got in the, the gap here, or, or whatever the case may be. So in this case, this is a clean reel. We uh, showed you the internal side of it, how to service it. And uh, again, if you're looking for that video, just uh, search my library under Zebco Genesis Fishing Reel Repair. You'll find it there. Well, we're going to start by removing the screw that attaches the bale wire to the bale arm. This is the easiest way to set the bells, is to eliminate <coughs> the bell wire on the uh, non-active side, right, or on the active side, rather. You can leave it attached here if you like. You can take it off if it's bent and needs to be reformed. Okay, next thing I want to do is find out what kind of um, <coughs> setup this is. So I'm going to remove the spring on the side plate cover. And as I do that, I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel. If you like the auto fishing wheel repair and service, if you like to learn about fishing wheels, if you uh, enjoy understanding a little bit more than just how to crank it, then I try to cover an awful lot of bases uh, and in the end try to give reels a second chance by keeping them uh, well maintained and fixing and repairing the problems that may occur with them. We've removed the side plate screw. <coughs> when I remove the side plate screw, I put that into a parch tray. I use a fast food container lately. I've used a lot of things, but the, the idea there is for you to uh, make sure that you know where the parts are when it comes time to reinstall. This one has that coil spring that uh, I was referring to as a um, retractable pen spring, and we'll show you how to set that. This has a, a two feature to it. It has a spring that loads and, and kicks back the bale, and it has what I call a Z-bar arm. You can see it here. We'll, we'll take it out in a moment. It's a, uh, well, it's formed like the letter Z, and this is what it's going to trip. So I'm going to hold the spring and show you the inside. You'll notice on the inside of this, there is a hole right here, and that hole corresponds to the carrier right here. Then we have our Z bar here. Well, this one, in this case, kind of looks a little bit different, but a lot of them will just come straight out at a 90 degree. This one has a little bit of a turn to it. Short side, long side, the long side goes down. <coughs> if you like, if it's more convenient for you, you can always take the rotor off of the reel so that it doesn't keep dancing around. In my case, uh, we're going to just wrestle this today. All right, we're going to put that back in. And we're going to move that up, something like that. The next part then involves setting the spring. Now the spring is a long spring, as I mentioned. It looks like the coil spring of a, of a retractable pen. You have this arm here. That arm is going to nestle into that spring like this. And this part here, when we go to reinstall, is going to sit in that hole just like that. Right? Just like that. Okay. That's kind of the groundworks on how this uh, is, this, how the setup is. Let's do this again. Then we're going to bring this up and over. I'm going to lodge this spring in the bottom of the cavity here, just like that. And again, sometimes 
this thing starts dancing on you becomes a little bit of an issue. I'm going to hold that spring in place with my thumb, find the hole for that carrier, just like that. And we're going to take this and turn it this way so that the bail is in the up position. I'm going to push down to compress the spring, just like that. I'm going to hold that in just to show you. We've compressed the spring. This is in the hole. This is off to the side. Next thing we want to do then is to put that screw back in so we don't pop this whole thing out while we complete the reassembly. But while I'm doing that, if you have any questions on this reel or any reel, maybe you're, you're working on a reel and something like this has happened to you, you can't quite figure out how to get out of that, then uh, just leave that in the comment section and we'll try to answer that for you. What fell out here, if you're asking that, is the, the little line guide roller. All right, we'll show you again that when we pull this down now, and I don't have that screw all the way tightened because I want to put that cover behind it. You can turn it down a couple more. This bar here should come down. And you can see how it's moved to the bottom of the cavity there. That's going to hit a ramp inside here. When it hits the ramp, it's going to push that bar up and the spring is going to assist it in closing. Okay, let's take the side plate cover then. I'm going to put that on. And the reason I left that screw a little bit loose is that generally this cover has got to either nestle up to that or go under it. So let's go put that back together. This is the tie down screw we had for that. It's a little Phillips head screw. It's a good place to tell you if you're not comfortable with what you're doing or maybe you just have a little bit of self-doubt, then one of the good things to do is take pictures along the way just so you see what came off, when it came off, and what the orientation of it was prior to it coming off, because that way it'll, it'll help you in the reassembly of the reel when it's time to put it back together again. Okay, we've got this set up now. Put the line guide back on. Now we can put the screw back in. So Michael, I hope this is uh, what you were looking for when you asked that question, can I show you how to set the bail spring? Because <clears throat> that's how we do it. All right, let's turn it over. There you go. Turn it over. Now, when we, again, when we turn that over, it's pushing that silver bar down. And there's a ramp right here when it goes to trip. Then we'll bring it over. I'll show you where we are. So the ramp is right here. And as it rides up the ramp, it's going to trip it over and out. Well. I hope you've enjoyed that, and uh, if, again, if you have any questions, I encourage you to ask those questions, and I will try to answer them or at least give you some help. Uh, I don't know at all, but uh, every now and then I can provide that. This is one of two common types of bail setups on fishing reels. <clears throat> the other one, again, is a is a more defined, it's kind of got a V-shaped uh, spring. One spring would nest inside the a hole in the uh, rotor here, and the other one, much like we put that carrier here, there will be a small pin hole in, in the bail arm, and uh, that's where the other side would sit. All right, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed it. I want to take a moment to thank our first responders, our police, fire, safety, rescue, everybody involved in keeping us uh, out of harm's way on a day-to-day -day basis. I want to thank you for watching. I appreciate uh, the comments and the likes. So if you have any comments, questions, or likes about this video, uh, please use this time to do that now. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you do subscribe, please use that notification button. This is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle, wishing everybody a great day.